What? Uh, uh. What's wrong? Uh, telephone. Take a message. I'm just going to take a look in here. Explain what? How, um, how we could make this a terrific office. Who was it? Who was what? On the telephone. Oh, it was for me. Then why'd you yell Ira? In case it was for you. <laughs> you haven't had your coffee yet, I can tell. We have to get a few more phones in here. What are you doing down there? Looking for outlets for phones. They're over here, where the phone is. Well, oh, well, that's the best place for it. Oh, God bless you. What? Nothing, I sneezed. Oh, is that a... Thank you. Ira, could we go someplace and talk? What's the matter with here? Well, I need to talk to you in private. I mean, it's a private conversation that needs privacy of intimacy. This isn't intimate? No, it's a guest room. Uh-huh. Glenda, come over here and sit down. Glenda. What, what, what's wrong with you? Is it Nick? I mean, it's Nick, isn't it? If it's Nick, I don't want to hear about it. It's Nick. I knew it was Nick. Look, you don't even have him in custody yet, and he's as good as convicted. Nobody's convicted him. He'll have plenty of time to explain that 8 by 10 glossy he took in Carmel. I can explain what happened in Carmel. Really? Where do you get your information from? From Nick. I spoke to him last night. He was the rabbit I was chasing. He was the rabbit? How could you do this? What did he say? That's confidential information between me and my client. Your client? Your client? Sit down. Are you crazy? Are you crazy withholding information from me, the district attorney? Not even to mention Ira, your husband. I can't believe this. I'll confide in you if you're Ira, but not if you're the district attorney. All right, I'm Ira. I'm not the district attorney. What did he say? No, you're the district attorney. I can tell by the way you're asking the questions. Glenda, Glenda, with a little bit of luck, I may still have a shot at security guard at the county museum. Where is he? I'll tell you what happened in Carmel if you agree to try to have Nick put in our custody until the trial date is set. In our custody? You want me to adopt him? Or make the cover of the National Enquirer? Then we have nothing further to discuss. All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What happened in Carmel? He was in a friend's cabin in Big Sur, working on a book. He, uh, two men walked in, kidnapped him, and stole his car. They forced him at gunpoint uh, to drive to a bank in Carmel, hand the teller a hold-up note. Uh, then they escaped up the mountain, took the money, kicked him out into a sand dune, leaving him for dead. That's his whole story, and I believe every word of it. You believe that story? Yes, I do. Oh, wait a minute. Let me, let, me, let me get this straight. What you're saying is the two men walked into his cabin. Right, right. They, they, they kidnapped him. Right. Stole his car. Right, that's it. That's it. That's good. Forced him to give a bank teller a hold-up note. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Kicked him down a sand dune. Yeah, you got it. You got it. They left him for... Uh, what are you saying? That they left it. him for... 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 Uh, for dead. That's it. I saw him limping. I, I saw him myself. Oh, he was limping! I didn't know that. Well, then, of course, he's innocent. Limpers never lie. Limpers are famous for telling the truth. The man is a convicted drug smuggler. How can you believe such crap? All right, Glenda. Glenda, I'm going to give you five seconds to tell me where he is. I'm counting now. One, two... No, you don't get five seconds. That's it. Not only am I worried about the future of our relationship, I also won't be home for dinner tonight. You forgot to ask him for the beige suit. Oh, shut up. Oh. Easy, easy. The leg. Don't leave the leg behind. Oh, thank you. I hope you won't be sore at me, but I was listening. I thought your speech was aces. Why is that man lying on the floor? What man? What man? That man. Oh, that man. Yes, ma'am. Why is that man lying on the floor? Yes, ma'am. Is he all right? Yes, he's fine. Oh. Where am I? What, what, what happened? He was, um... Hit. He was hit. They ran. And then he ran. They ran. They ran. They hit him and ran. Uh -huh, yeah, the, the car came and hit him and ran. Did you see the accident? No, I came late. Uh, no, he went in to get my breakfast, and I pulled him in myself. I, of course, will represent him as his attorney.
Can I have your name, please? Friedlander. Harris J. Friedlander. Moxnard. Business? Designer. We carve the heads of presidents out of driftwood. We employ mostly veterans and the handicapped. Do you have any identification? No, they, they mugged me. They mugged you? After they hit me. Did you get the make of the car or the license number? <sighs> I didn't have a chance. I was up and down so quickly. I really think we should get him to the hospital. Didn't you say you were rushing to get to court? After. After the hospital. You better follow us. We'll make better time. Stick to my tail. Right. Over and out. Don't ask me any questions. You'll be better off. Yes, ma'am. Hot damn, I finally get a chance to chase the police. That bacon was a little well done. Is that all that's worrying you? Bacon? I must be crazy. Disbarment. Disbarment and disgrace are all that lies ahead. That and a big truck. Are we alive? I don't think we'll know for a few minutes yet. Can we do that again? Chester! Okay, you want to hear my plan? No, I want you out of my life. That's part of the plan. I kidnap you. We lose the cops at the next corner. I dump the both of you off, I steal the car, and you're in the clear. How are you going to kidnap us if I'm the one driving the car? Because I'm the one holding the gun. I buy that. Turn left at the next corner, Chet. Don't listen to him, Chester. Nick, Nick, please give yourself up. If you're innocent, they'll never send you to jail. Is that how it works, Chester? Not in my neighborhood. Then turn here. If you turn, Chester, you're fired. You don't turn, I fire. There's no bullets in it, Chester. Trust me. You're going to trust a woman who just lied to the police, Chester. I want to raise. I definitely want to raise. Giving escort to a Mrs. Ira Parks. License number. Where in the hell they go? Stop right here. I think I'm two inches shorter. Okay, get out of the car. Come on, kids, move. <sighs> Planning on coming along? We never really did finish that honeymoon, you know. Nick, why are you doing this? Why do you behave this way? Oh, I don't know. Ever since I was a kid, I've had this wild and crazy desire never to go to jail. Bye, Glenn. One more, little one. Are you sure you'll be able to drive with that shoulder? Are you kidding? The vehicle wasn't built, or I can't handle it. 